Actions, actions, smile. Personality. Howdy folks, howdy, Sean Brock here with you once again, coming down the road with another custom build. Today we have a Matt Arcara D1 Flame Mahogany Adirondack Spruce uh, with a big old nod toward the, uh, the uh, Martin 37 style. And this belongs to our friend Jesse Davis, ye old Uncle Jesse on the AGF and UMGF, except he's not old. I am, he's not. And this guitar is for sale. If you're interested, see the description box and contact Jesse. Uh, he's a wonderful fellow to buy guitars from. He, he's very, very knowledgeable. He's very, very honest. And I've known Jesse for quite some time and seen a lot of stuff that he's owned. And uh, we've done some demos of, of several guitars that he's owned before and he's always spot on on his descriptions and a good person to do business with okay matt arcara he hangs his hat up in portland maine builds guitars up there uh won the uh, winfield back in 2006 so he's a he's a dynamite player builds a dynamite instrument and uh we'll talk about the specs of this and all that stuff a little later on, but let's take a listen at this Matt Arcara D1. <laughs> guitar has um, real interesting qualities uh, for Adirondack guitar. It's, it's uh, tuned a little high. I mean, the, the box, the top is tuned a little high. Uh, so uh, it's, there's no mud here. But yet the trebles are really sweet. And there's a ton of sustain. <laughs> Just barely playing it. A lot of sustain. Real nice. So if, you, if you're one of those people that sometimes mahogany might get a little too dry for you, this is, this is really just pretty. Check out the bass. Yeah, I hear him all the way the way. 
Good bass, a nice tight response. me like to bend the B string on this guitar so much. It stays in tune really well when you do it too. I won't grab the capo, but this is a sweet, a very sweet tone, uh, in my opinion, uh, on the on the treble end of things, without having a a dark bass, which is dare I say, and everybody anybody that's familiar with the channel at least knows that um, uh, I, I'm a big fan of red spruce, Adirondack spruce. But sometimes when you shoot for a sweeter treble, some of the things you have to do in construction, uh, sometimes you end up with a bass that's maybe a little bit warm for the taste of, of certain players. And so there's a little bit of a trade-off there. And you don't have that in this guitar. You got a bass that stands out nice. It's nice and clean. It's a very clean sounding guitar. Uh, and you've still got sweetness in the treble. And let me tell you, this thing absolutely uh, capos wonderfully. It will absolutely haul the mail and scream at you while it's doing it with a capo on. Give a. a clean you know there's there's something to be said i like guitars though i mean i like dirty sounding guitars too i'm dirty dirty old man you know? i don't know about that, all that but got dirty the other day actually did some work in the yard that was dirty but uh, this is a this is a really clean sound it's really uh there's aspects of it that would remind you of uh maybe some of the uh, moon spruce or or uh, some of the higher end German spruce. It, it in some ways tonally it, it reminds me of the uh, blazer and Hankus I had. 
B flat. to play stuff like this on on this type of guitar uh, again just to preach on with it the cleanliness the cleanliness key of B Fifth fret. I got some color on this baby. She's got it. She does have it. Maybe it's a he. I don't know. It's this guitar does have it. Speak correct English. That's what they used to say. That was before texting. So here's what I know on the specs, and I will forget something. So see the description box. Again, if you're interested in this guitar, you can contact Jesse Davis. 
call or text or email call tech call call comma text or email jesse davis and uh, i'm not sure uh, he he may get around to putting this on some of the forums or marketplace or something but uh, you can contact him there and I'll also put, he's got a good detailed description of uh, the construction, just in case I forget something, which I will. Uh, all high glue construction on this, okay? And uh, ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge, two and five sixteenths, bridge space and one three quarter at the nut. Um, bone nut, bone saddle, that's an old style long saddle, of course. And um, ebony like ebony um pins um forward shifted scallop x adirondack red spruce undoubtedly from way up in the north country fair very nice flame mahogany back and sides real good looking stuff man nice looking it's got uh, rosewood bindings no i'm not sure of the species uh very pretty rosewood bindings on this and that's you know it's kind of a cool feature uh waverly relic tuners here with your your oval knob i like these i always like these you know i'm i like these aged tuners um uh, this has a carbon fiber rod in it in the the, the neck not a truss rod and I'm going to tell you, when this guitar is sitting on your, on your knee, you ever, you know, do this or something, and you, sometimes you worry about your guitar is going to start doing like that. This guitar has a wonderful balance, and it's it's fairly lightweight. It is not underweight. I'm overweight. Uh, it's not underweight or overweight. It's it's just right. Uh, to me, I've I've grown to detest underbuilt guitars because you can't get any power out of them, uh, and of course nobody likes an overbuilt guitar for the same reason you can't get any power out of it. This has really really good volume, really really good cut. I mean, man, and it don't take much. This is one of these uh, guitars if you've got a light touch and you put it in front of a microphone with a light touch. It just really, I was like, wow, man, this really does good. Uh, it, I thought it was real nice and loud before I put it in front of a microphone. But it is, it's really, really uh, easy, easily mic'd up. And there again, you know, you've got a, a player with some years of experience uh, trying to get out of a guitar what he feels like will be optimal. And uh, I, I would say that he's done that very very uh, good cut on this without being harsh no harshness but good cut through the neck is uh, a kind of a collings-esque uh, thing it's not a full uh 37 you know really really thick neck uh this is this is a little more modern what you would expect out of a, a lot of modern type next but it's not super thin it's very very comfortable very comfortable got a really nice shape to it uh, it doesn't have a great degree of taper in the thickness i mean it's not one of those that starts out at uh 80 and then shoots to you know before you know it you get down here and it's you're you're three quarters of an inch thicker it, it doesn't do that it's a very gradual taper and it feels good feels good and uh, it's it's one of those if you do a lot of stuff where you reach across with your thumb good access for that and i've probably forgotten something and uh, you probably want me to shut up and you uh, probably want to see the description box and contact jesse davis ye young uncle jesse and um, inquire about this this is a good price too man on a luthier build uh matt has i've read uh several times about his weight he has about a two-year waiting list or so and i think this guitar has some upgrades on it as well that might would cost you a little extra but uh jesse i know is pricing this very very fairly i'll, I'll say that 
and that's all I'll say other than don't forget to subscribe, which I forgot to say at the beginning. Thank you all. Take care. Mm -hmm.